What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter, and I'm a pretty big fan of video games. What about you? Well, the other day I sat down to play some video games on my console, and I realized I've never designed anything for a console interface, and that sounded like a lot of fun. So today I figured we would do a little bit of console design. Ready to get started? Let's do it. So I want to do a really simple design, uh, something that's really, really clean, easy to navigate, but still has a little bit of that kind of like fun, techie Xbox kind of feeling. So um, I have a new Adobe XD project open, and on my desktop I have a folder titled Assets, and inside I have some icons that I think we're going to need. Uh, I have a bunch of images of video game art, which I think is kind of cool. And then I have some logos, like the Microsoft and the Xbox logo. This is uh, not a sponsored video. I just, I'm an Xbox player. It's like always like where to start, where to start. So uh, I think we should start with a background color. So I'm just gonna select the entire artboard and I'm gonna give it a fill. And like I said, I wanna do something a little bit, a little bit more of a, like a dark, kind of like techie color kind of thing. So that's kind of cool. Uh, let's do that. Um, and then I'll tell you what, let's get a rectangle out and let's just make sure we're drawn on the whole canvas here. Um, let's, Put our rectangle across the entire canvas and uh, let's do as a fill, we'll take the border off, but as the fill, I want to do a linear gradient going from black to black uh, or less black, maybe just like a little bit of a, a gradient like that. Barely even see it, but it's just a little bit more interesting than flat, right? Okay, cool. And what we want to do is we want to drag those icons, excuse me, those logos in again, let's just drag them right there. Okay, cool. Um, oh, we could do, oh, I just, it dropped them on the canvas randomly like that, but it's making me think like, maybe could we do like a really cool like overlay kind of deal? Like that could be kind of fun so that it's just like off canvas like that. Or should we line them up? I definitely think we should, let's take our Microsoft logo here. Let's shrink this guy down. And let's zoom in real tight here, okay? So let's just put that guy, I don't know, like, let's put it like that, some, you know, over to the side. We'll do full width navigation, full width, uh, whereas not necessarily everything else will be full width. So we could do something like this. Um, yeah, I don't know, like, like really subtle like that. Ooh, that, that looks like it's getting kind of cool, but I tell you what, I think I want to have the brand be really, really prominent. So I tell you what, let's take the Microsoft one and drop it down to like a cool gray at 50. And then we'll get our Xbox one and we'll do something similar down at 50. And let's just put it next to the Microsoft logo. So that when, when users get here, they know that they're looking at Microsoft Xbox, a little brand recognition. We're starting something there. Hey, well, let's keep going with the navigation. I'm gonna grab some text. Uh, let's do console and let's start dealing with typography here. Okay, so let's grab our typography. We'll line it up in the middle there. Let's put it about 125 pixels away from the edge of the, the Xbox logo. And let's make it white. Obviously, let's pick a font. How about, uh, I think Microsoft uses Segoe something, Segoe UI, I think. So let's do that. Let's do it like uh, semi right, semi. Oh, I like the semi bowl. It pops a little bit. But let's drop these navigation items down to 50. We'll say that that is like the inactive state. And for the active state, uh, let's bring in uh, a little bit of the Xbox green. It's a little bit of the uh, on the deeper green side like that. So, okay, we have a little bit of like an active state. Uh, so that's looking pretty good. Probably also have, uh, we'll take a little ellipse. Uh, so we just grab the ellipse tool or we could have pressed the hot key for E for ellipse. And I'm gonna use a plugin called UI Faces. And it's just gonna generate a little avatar in there for me. It's working, bam, we dropped an avatar inside there. So that's kind of nice. Um, so that's kind of like your, uh, your profile area. And let's go to the icons and let's drag a cart and a search icon inside of here, all right? So we have our search icon. Um, and then let's 
let's grab both of those and we'll drop them down as well. So they're not like popping. And now, now the, the active stay is the thing that's standing out the most. I like that, okay. Well, uh, let's bring in a little bit of visuals here. I'm thinking, let's start with the promotion stuff. I'm gonna bring this shot of this Xbox in. And we could put it right there and just go real dark and real lean looking, but let's put something maybe behind it. Like let's grab this. I like the contrasting colors of this yellow kind of pop, kind of fun. So let's just take the console though and drop it on top. Um, and this is what happens when you just spend a little bit of time in, you know, previously in Photoshop and just get some assets ready. You have room to play and you have things to start working with. But I like this little lockup. I think it's kind of fun. Um, let's put it, let's, let's do it. Let's go with it. And then uh, maybe, maybe let's, let's zoom in here. Um, maybe this will get another ellipse and maybe this is one of many slides that will slide through. I'm just, we're just making stuff up as we go. We're just having fun. We want a big old headline, so let's take this up from semi-bold to bold to black. Ooh, maybe not black, let's go bold. And then let's take it up and make it really massive. So maybe not that massive, maybe like that massive. Like maybe 60, I'm feeling 64 right now for some reason, okay? And what are we, we're obviously promoting something over here on the right, right? So like, I know Xbox has Xbox, they have this thing called Game Pass. That's a thing they're trying to, sell and push on everybody, so let's push it for them. Let's sell stuff for Xbox, even though we're not trying to, it's just part of the thing. So, okay, cool. Um, and then let's, let's go, ooh, let's, let's, tell you what, let's delete that, that we just, that other headline, and we just pasted in a new, uh, smaller kind of like text, which is cool. Um, and then what we wanna do is we wanna switch it over from being point text to an area text, and we will just stretch this out. I grabbed some text about uh, Xbox Game Pass, so that's a thing, so we're just gonna drop that in there. And let's take this from semi-bold back down to regular, and then let's drop the opacity on it, just to give a little bit of contrast. See, it's still legible, but you know the title pops out a whole lot more, which I really, really like, so we're doing that. I like that a lot. Um, and obviously we need some sort of call to action, a button, so let's do a big angular, a uh, green bordered button. And then what I'll do is I'll just take all of this, group all that together, and I'll call this uh, CTA. Just like that, call to action. Uh, okay, we're looking pretty good, we're cruising along and it kind of looks like an Xbox console interface, right? I like it. Uh, the last thing we want to do is we want to create uh, some action down here, like a running list of games. So let's grab a rectangle and let's draw some rectangles. Okay, so we have one. Oh, you know what we could do? Uh, using Adobe XD, we can repeat grid here and then just drag our grid out like so. And do we want to have spaces in these or do we want them to be butted up, maybe tiny spaces or no spaces, I think, like that, like real tight in there. Um, okay, cool, and now what we can do is let's get our group of images here, and uh, minus the yellow one we've already used, and let's drag these down into our repeat grid, and it's going to automatically just kind of place them uh, within the repeat grid, which is nice, it's why I like repeat grid. Um, okay, so we do want to take the border off on all these, now I like that. Or maybe do we want the border back on, but we just want it to be black. Ooh, border or no border? Border or no border? I'm gonna go border. Okay, cool. So, um, now that we're here, let's ungroup this grid, actually. I'm not the biggest fan of having it in the group. Um, but we wanna just finagle some of this artwork and make sure it's the best shot of the artwork that we could possibly get. So let's just pull the artwork where we want it into place. We're gonna to wanna to create a couple of states in here that uh, will allow us to navigate around when we get to prototype time. So let's do that and let's do, uh, let's do a top navigation state. So we're gonna take this first one and call it uh, state one. And then we'll just drag a copy of it over to the right. We've got that artboard based system in Adobe XD, which is really, really nice. And let's just go from having the home uh, navigation um, being highlighted to having this one being highlighted. We will do that. Actually, let's do this. State two, 
we'll take our CTA, let's say we press down on the trigger from here, we're gonna fill this whole thing with the green, like so, that would be kinda nice, and then we'll take the whole thing and uh, my button there, let's take the button, the original button, unlock it, and let's move it down, and then it'll look like it moved up. A little animation there, so that's kind of cool. Um, all right, and then let's bring this guy down here, and let's call this state three. Boom, and in state three, we want to navigate from the top to the button, and then down to the games. So like, let's say we're gonna jump on this guy right here. We'll take the rest of the games, and let's just make them 50% opacity, maybe even 40% opacity, like that. Uh huh. And then we'll take our featured game, and we're gonna pop it out a little bit, like that. Let's just make sure game one is on top, game two, game three, game four, all right? All right, so we're gonna pop that one up, and uh, I think it probably needs a little bit of shadow. What kind of shadow? Black shadow or white shadow to make it glow? Ooh, I like that. Not super crazy, kind of subtle, but then we'll go like that with just a little bit of a glow to it. How's that looking? That looks maybe kind of cool. And then you know what's another cool thing is uh, as, it, as it gets up, we can just kind of maybe zoom in on the photo a little bit, and we'll have a little kind of zooming in animation, I, I think. I think we could do that. I'm pretty sure we could do that. Okay. You know what? I feel like that's not good enough. I feel like when that happens, that this should fade out and like move over kind of thing, and that this uh, should also, we should, we gotta feature this thing out a little bit more, don't we? So let's do this. Let's put another copy of the game there. Let's take this shadow off, and then let's just stretch it over the whole thing and take its opacity way down, bop, 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 like that. Uh, we gotta get it behind, yeah, the feature and everything. Let's take it way down. There we go, we just get a little bit of that in there. That's kinda cool. Um, and then what we can also do is take our image and just kind of feature like the best spot of it over in over there, like where the empty spot is. So that's kind of nice. Here we go, we have our, our basic kind of state, our home dashboard, so to speak, and then you have uh, navigating over, left and right from there. Then if we're, we're gonna navigate down, it's going to highlight the Game Pass thing, and it should actually uh, unhighlight that, and then make this whoop, down with the rest of them. I think those are down at 50. So now we can navigate down to a game and it highlights the game and brings in the game information. And then we can select in between games uh, and go back and forth. So that'll be really, really nice. I think, uh, I think that's pretty much it. I think we are ready to go to part two and do a little bit of animating. Well, that's it for part one. We completed the design of our video game console interface and we're ready for part two where we're gonna be using Adobe XD to prototype and then also link it up to a game controller. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and tutorials just like this one, so maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things and making amazing things. I'll see you in the next one.